the right. Oh, there is the sun streaming through the window. And here comes an announcement. <laughs> a bit of our wing. It's quite a small plane. I'm used to a much larger plane for flying to Thailand. But of course, it's a shorter distance. Uh, I think they said three and a half thousand kilometers. Taking about three and a half hours. So, a thousand kilometers an hour, Namabudaya. So, although we celebrate Compositor yesterday, our calculation is slightly different. Today is the official full moon day. And there it is, the full moon. Opposite is the sun which is now rising because it's 6.30 in the morning, sunrise time here in India. So, too bright to look at. But beautifully shown in our perfectly full moon above the clouds, which look like an ocean. And just a yet another perspective of the world, seen below as calm and peaceful. And this is how we must separate our minds from the activities of daily life, never put out. Of course, up here, looking down, below those clouds, the hustling, bustling streets of India. Very shortly, we'll be flying over, I don't know, either Chennai or Calcutta. Very busy, busy places. But from up here, the distance, all we can see is peace. And this is how we expand our thought process with a little distance between what's going on and how we perceive it. Just that. Namakudaya. I'll show a little bit of plane stuff for those of you that are interested. This is an Indigo flight. And you can see at the back there the ladies are preparing the in-flight food. Oh, I was going to say movie, but I don't think they have that on this flight. The in-flight uh, food, which I suppose is breakfast. It's morning now, but it doesn't seem like morning to me because I, I've missed two nights. It just feels like one very long night. <laughs> I'll have a doze over this three and a half, four hour flight. Fresh for the bus when I get to Bangalore. Never would I. I'm very fortunate. My, uh, I don't have a passenger in the seat next to me. I can sit comfortably, cross-legged. There's my bag on the floor under the seat in front of me as they instruct you to do and bucket baggage only for me. As I showed you earlier, there's uh, not much for me to carry around. That's mainly my bowl. The contents of which is my things. And the wire you can see is I'm charging my phones up with my power pack because there's no plugs on this phone, on this plane. You know, none of those USB things surprising because they even have those on buses but on this plane but it is a cheap flight maybe that's why on a cloudy day when it's uh, grey and not so bright we can feel a bit down but you can know that above the clouds is the truth. The truth that the skies are blue and the sun is always shining at the right time of day of course. In fact 
at any time of day, depending on how far out you go from the planet. Blue skies and sunshine, always. This is the truth. We can know that, for sure. Above the clouds is where we need to place our conscious awareness. Sometimes, but then come back into the body and know how we're feeling. I'm at the time. I expect down there, it's a very grey morning, possibly even wet and raining. But up here, look at that. Bright blue, azure blue skies. And behind me, oh, they've shut the screens, look. The sun is so bright and shining. and uh, I'm having a black coffee. The in-flight magazine is titled Hello 6E. 6E is this flight to Bangkok from Bangalore by flight number. And they've uh, kind of cleverly had a play on words, Hello 6E. The things they do to sell their merchandise. But a nice title for this magazine, High on Happiness 2023. Very apt with the cover of this young Buddhist monk running through the streets of Bangkok, maybe with his sunshade umbrella, traditional style.
Church Monastery just there on the river in Bangkok itself. So just for those who like plain things, well here we go, here's the here's the landing. Um, I can't really do a countdown, but five, four, three, two, one. One, 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 one. And not yet. <laughs> but there we go, bumpity bum bum bum. Uh, the, e the eagle has landed. See the flaps up. The picture's probably gone bumpity bump too. And there we are. The monk is now, English monk is now in Thailand. And I will look forward to some more videos. I now have to, no luggage to pick up, of course. It should be just flash my passport and straight out of the airport. However, I have no visa because I'm reliably informed by the English government we don't need them at the moment there is an exemption until March 2023 so fingers crossed about that I haven't filled out even a, a landing form that one normally does in a country as a foreigner so maybe they pick those up on the way through I have got a pen with me this time which is a first because they never have pens at those little booths where you fill out those forms and that can be a problem so I have a pen ready to go to fill out my form if indeed there is one and I'll report back soon Namo Buddhaya